Hello, this is Eric at Prince Short Ford, and we're taking a look at the newly redesigned 2021 Ford F-150 in a Lariat trim, and powered by a 5-liter V8 engine, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing, and coming with some nice upgrades installed right here at Prince Short Ford, such as a 6-inch BDS lift kit, and sitting on some 20-inch XD series rims with some 35-inch Toyo all-terrain, or Toyo Open Country all-terrain tires, uh, pocket star pocket style fender flares and bulletproof mud flaps on the front and rear as well and running boards down below so you can have an easier time getting into your truck. And then first looking at the back seat where you have spacious seating for three with a nice full leather interior that can be lifted up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo. And in the middle you have fold out armrests with two cup holders as well as two more in the middle there with a 12 volt USB and USB-C 120 volt power outlet and heated rear seats. And this truck does have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your vehicle. Looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as three memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, steering wheel, pedals, and your mirrors. And now sitting in the truck with it running and looking at the steering wheel, on the right-hand side, you have your controls for your center info screen here, where you can look at your fuel economy, trip one and two, eco behavior, auto start stop status, and driver assistance features. And you can also go into your truck info, Look at your driver assistance again, tire pressures, off-road status, power distribution, engine information, and seat belts. And then you have your towing information, your navigation controls, phone controls, audio controls, and settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. So also having my view, which is a sort of favorite screen for any of those subcategories for ease of access. Then moving on to the left where you have your cruise controls with... Uh, adaptive cruise control so you can kind of pick the spacing between other vehicles and your lane keeping system as well as your hands-free phone and radio controls along the bottom and then moving on to your center your infotainment screen which is radio series and bluetooth capable so you have some options there uh, you have your bluetooth phone controls your navigation screen so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels your favorite screen much like my view you can put all of your most used apps settings whatever you want there uh, whatever apps you may have installed, settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle, and your general truck features such as driver assistance, zone lighting, towing, and owner's manual. But then shifting into reverse, you do have a backup camera with a full 360 view, so you're going to be able to see all around your truck and hopefully avoid hitting anything with dynamic hitch views so you can zoom in and have an easier time hooking up a trailer. And then above your screen, you have your auto start stop shut off, your camera view, again, your active park assist, your hazards, traction control shut off, and hill descent assist. And then you do have a premium Vino sound system in this truck, so your music's going to sound pretty decent. Moving down from that, though, you have your media controls and your climate controls with dual zone front climate and heated and air conditioned front seats, as well as a heated steering wheel. To the left of that, you have your pro trailer backup controller, trailer brake controller, and 4x4 controls with 4 auto and a locking rear differential, as well as your drive mode selector. For you have slippery deep snow sand, mud ruts, and rock crawl mode. Then on the opposite end, you have tow haul, eco, and sport mode, so you can customize your driving experience quite a bit there. Then moving on to the right, where you have a 12 volt and 120 volt power outlet, as well as this compartment up here for more storage. Then you have this compartment down here with a USB and USB-C inside, so you can plug something in from there. Then you have your main shifter with select shift on the side, so you can manually shift through your gears and can also be collapsed out of the way, so you have more open space here. Then you have two cup holders and your lockable center compartment slash armrest with a removable tray and a ton of room inside, including another USB and USB-C. And then looking back, you have a power sliding rear window. And last but not least, you do have a twin panel moonroof up top so you can lend the sunshine. But that should cover our look at the interior. So if you're in the market for a new truck with some nice upgrades installed right here at Prince George Ford, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.